Hey, it's Pulse for Pioneer DJ, and this video is a how to troubleshoot pretty much any USB connected Pioneer DJ product on a Mac. Now, a lot of DJs will get their, their gear home and they'll unpack it and just fire up, connect it to the USB, and expect things to work. Well, it's important that you install the drivers first. Now, not every product has drivers, but the best way to find out is by going to the PioneerDJ.com website. You can download the latest drivers here. Uh, you can see that there are drivers specific for different versions of you know, operating systems. For example, Windows 10 is different from 8.1 and 7. And El Capitan and newer is different from Yosemite and older. So please make sure you've got the correct drivers installed for your operating system. And while you're here, update the firmware. This is always important to get the latest features and fixes for your product. Now, not every product is created the same. For example, the RR has drivers and firmware available. However, the DDJ SB2 only has drivers for Windows. Mac doesn't require that. And also, we don't have any firmware newer than what was available from the factory. So, not every product has firmware, not every product has drivers, but if you do have those available for you, please install and download and, and, and run those uh, and make sure that you're up to date. So, now that we've got that going, you go into your preferences and find that you've got the audio but no control, or you have control but no audio. Uh, one way to find out is uh, scroll down to the very bottom here and see what is actually showing up. Now, you can see that I don't have the DDJ RR, even though that's selected as the audio device. This is because the RR and the SB2 use a similar system to communicate, and they happen to fight with each other. So uh, most people aren't connecting these both at the same time. But if you happen to notice that one of your devices is missing from the bottom of the list here in the control device information, that is potentially why there's a conflict or there's a driver issue or communication issue. So number two on the check is to check and make sure your device is connected properly. Is the USB cable okay? Is it new? Try swapping it out. Maybe it's the port on your computer. Try a different port. Or if you're using a hub, be sure to check that out. Try it as a direct connection instead. If you're still not sure you think it's connected properly, but you want to find out, one of the easy ways to do that is to go to the audio MIDI window. So the audio MIDI setup in Mac has all these things available for you to check out your audio devices, which are listed here with the USB connection, and your MIDI, MIDI devices in the MIDI studio. You can go to the window to show or hide these particular windows. Here you can see I've got a whole bunch of different USB devices that are currently not connected. Those are grayed out. The ones that are white are currently connected to my computer and available. But if you even if you see these and you still have some troubles with communication, what you can do is go to the top of the window click new configuration. I'm going to just name mine 2017. It will rescan the bus looking for MIDI compatible devices. And that might be all that's needed to reset your communication for those devices. The other thing you can check is to make sure that they are connected and communicating with your computer. Go to the Apple and instead of clicking about this map, hold the option key and then click. Your hardware list will come up and you can scroll down to USB. Here you can see all the devices that are connected to your computer, whether or not you've got drivers installed for them. These show up because they get enumerated by the system and this information is on the hardware itself, telling the computer, I'm here, I can communicate with you. If you do not see them on the list, again, check the cable, check the port, check your USB hub, or possibly the device itself. Maybe reboot, reboot your computer. The other thing you might even try is on those device drivers we have, there's an uninstaller. Run the uninstaller, reboot your computer, then run the installation package again and reboot once more, then see if they show up here or in your MIDI window or even in your record box or other DJ software. If you have any other troubles and still can't figure it out, come visit us at forums.pioneerdj.com. We'll be happy to help you out.